since I've seen anybody. Can't go out, can you, because of this COVID? I mean, I've come back to all of this. I've been round our Shane's and her next door is having a drive done. The dog won't stop barking. I've got workmen coming in, assaulting me knocker after me Gerabaldi's as per. And of course, we can't go abroad again this year, can we? In fact, our Shane and I can boast. We've had 32 holiday fortnights up on the Lancashire coast. Uh, we normally stay at uh, Glen Kev. That's from Glenda and Kev, you see. Huh. Well, the previous owners, uh, Rowland and Sharon, they used to call it Sea View, and that makes sense to me. The room's bright orange and the summer awful's built on the rug. The baths are free. But you do have to give Glenda 50p for the use of the plug. We went shopping, of course, on the Monday. I bought some uh, Sugarfuls teeth in a jar. A gravy boat shaped like a toilet and a cruet set shaped like a bra. <laughs> and then on Wednesday we went to the Waxworks. Oh, they don't change the exhibits year on year. There's Sabrina and Anthony Eden. And somebody we think looks like Molly Weir. Now, Lady Chatterley is a big favourite. Is in the nude? So it draws a big crowd if it rains. But uh, this year she had on a Guernsey and some pop socks. So I reckon somebody must have complained. Oh, and the one that was Mohammed Ali, well, they took the towel off his head and they drew a line through the name on his label and they turned him into Lenny Henry instead. <laughs> We took in a show on the Friday. Well, it was that, or we'll get caught in the shower. There was triplets that sang Getting to Know You, and a midget that sang Now is the Hour. Oh, and there was a magician who had some doves. They were brightly coloured, and they had little bells. He produced three from under his anky, and 19 from behind his lapels. <laughs> The compare, well, is very, very sprightly for somebody who's 80. And they do say he's had two strokes. And you're encouraged to join in with the singing, but we just join in with the jokes. And then there was this bint called Bernice, and it was playing a trumpet. You know, you've got a friend. But the bloke on the, uh, on the organ, <laughs> he was playing bright eyes, so of course who was in tears by the end. And it rained every day, except the one. And that was when we had the sleet. And Glenda, well, a do turf you out, does it? No, it just comes in and hoovers your feet. <laughs> Shane and I just usually end up in the bush shelter. <laughs> you know, with a quarter of wine gums to share. And he says, do you think we've been burgled? And generally things seem to go downhill from there. And as we leave, our Glenda says, oh, do come again next year. <laughs> and our Shane says, oh, oh, we'll be here again next year. Y'all see us. Of course, if I, I kick the bucket by then. And we all laugh, don't we? <laughs> But he comes to me, and I sit there and I think, good Lord, if he really does kick the bucket next year, I'm definitely going abroad! <laughs> Hello. 
Okay. Oh, cool, mate. Good to see that video. Because that's nice, eight.